गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एडवांटेजेस ऑफ डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस इट इज़ वन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स ऑफ द चैप्टर्स मेजरमेंट्स सो द फर्स्ट एडवांटेज इज टू फाइंड टू ऑफ टेन यूनिट ऑफ ए फिजिकल क्वांटिटी टू ऑफ टेन द यूनिट ऑफ ए फिजिकल क्वांटिटी With the help of dimensional analysis, you can easily find the unit of a physical quantity. For example, to find unit of capital G, which is known as gravitational constant. For this, first of all, you have to write the dimension of capital G, since f is equal to gravitational force. Is equal to z m one m two by r square. Therefore, from here, g is equal to f r square by m one m two. Hence, the dimension of gravitational constant will be dimension of force into dimension of r square by dimension of m one and dimension of m two. This is equal to Force का dimension m l t power minus two and r is distance so its dimension is l square and for m one m and for m two again m so dimension becomes equal to m m will be cancelled l का power three m का power minus one and t power minus two so in this way we have written here the dimensions of gravitational constant. Here l and l square becomes equal to l three m power minus one. Now, if you have to write the SI unit, then in SI unit the unit of length is meter. So we write meter cube. Unit of mass is kg, and as the dimension is minus one, we write kg power minus one. For time it is second. So it is the SI unit of capital G, and here. We have obtained the unit using dimensional analysis. However, we may write the unit according to this formula. And if if we write the unit according to this formula, its unit is newton meter square by kg into kg. That is kg square. So both are same thing. We can express it in any way. But using dimensions, we can easily find the unit in this way. Now let us learn. the second advantage the second advantage is to verify the correctness of a physical expressions our second advantage is to verify the correctness of a physical expression that is verification so you can easily verify either the given equation is correct or not using dimensional analysis we can verify the correctness of a physical equation so let us see how we can verify it. take an example s is equal to ut plus half is so how can you verify it first of all write the dimension of lhs So here, dimensions of LHS is the dimension of S, and it is equal to L. Now write the dimension of RHS, which is equal to dimension of UT plus half a t square. As U is initial velocity, so its dimension is L t power minus one. For t, we write capital T. Half is a number and is dimensional, so we need not to carry half. We are simply here considering dimension. A stands for acceleration, whose dimension is L t power minus two, and for t square it is t square. So it becomes equal to L as t power minus one and t power one becomes equal to t power zero. That is one, and here also it becomes equal to L. So you may write it as Now let us see. Here, dimension of L H is 
is one in length and in RSS also dimension is one in length two is coefficient it is not uh, included in dimensions so we see that here we see that dimension of LHS is equal to dimension of RSS therefore therefore given equation is correct according to principle of homogeneity hence this imply that given equation is hence given equation is correct according to principle of homogeneity of dimension so if in a physical expressions dimensions of lhs is equal to dimension of rhs the given equation will be correct certainly it is correct dimensionally it is not numerically correct but in this way you can verify whether the given equation is dimensionally right or wrong okay now let us learn the third advantage which is conversion our third advantage is conversion advantage third conversion conversion means we can convert we can convert value of a physical quantities value of a physical quantity from one system into another how can we convert let us see as we know that we know that value of a physical quantities value of a physical quantity is expressed as n u where n is numerical value and u is unit numerical value and u stand for unit also we know that n is inversely proportional to u for example if we say that length of this rod is 5 meter and if we, you want to express it in centimeter it means if you consider a smaller unit than meter the numerical value becomes equal to 500 so if unit is large numerical value is small and if unit is small numerical value becomes large in the language of mathematics it is expressed in this way so from here you can write it as n is equal to constant by u it means n is equal to constant that is n1 u1 is equal to n2 u2 n2 u2 therefore n2 becomes equal to n1 u1 by u2 or it is equal to n1 and e1 means unit of the physical quantity here the physical quantity is not given suppose it is vx and then in the place of u write the dimension of x m l and t power a b and c and here also write the dimension of the same physical quantity x as m l t a b c but as in first system the fundamental unit is different from the fundamental unit in second system so suppose the fundamental unit in first system b m1 for mass l1 for time and t1 for t and in second system suppose m2 is the fundamental unit for mass l2 is the fundamental unit for length and t2 be the unit of time so in this way we get an ex general expression which is used to convert the value of a physical quantity from one system to another let us uh, solve one problem using this formula so take a most common and simple example to convert how to convert one newton 
into 9. So, we take an example to convert, convert, convert 1 Newton into 9. It will, as we know, here 1 is numerical value in first system, Newton is the unit in first system. In second system, the unit is dying, but numerical value is here not mentioned. It means we have to find the numerical value. But it is also known to us, or it should be known to us, that both Newton and Dines are units of force. Newton is the unit of force in SI system, and Dine is the unit of force in CGS system. It means you have to convert from SI system into CGS system. So start from here. Since N1, E1, is equal to n2 u2 therefore n2 is equal to n1 e1 by u2 now write the dimensions of the physical quantity which has to be converted here here it is clear to us that the physical quantity is force because newton and dines are the unit of force so write here the dimensions of force as m l t power minus 2 and Take M1, L1, T1 be the fundamental unit in the first system, that is in SI system. Now, the same dimensions should be written in the second system, M2, L2, T2, and let A, B, C, no. Here, as the physical quantity is 4, and its dimension is ML, T power minus 2, so instead of A, here is 1, for B, it is 1, and for C, it is minus 2. It is clear that force, the value of force has to be converted. So, in the state of ABC, we have simply written the dimensions of the force. Now, solve this. As N1 is here, N1 is the numerical value in the first system and it is given as 1. Now, solve M1 by M2. M1 by M2. M1 means unit of mass in first system. And its first system is a SI system in which the unit of mass is kg. So M1 stands for kg. And what is for uh, M2? Since M2 is the unit of mass in the second system. Our second system is CGS system. And in CGS system, the unit of mass is gram. And it can be understood at 1 kg by 1 gram. So it becomes equal to 1000 gram by gram. That is 10 to the power 3. In this way, you have solved N1. Even if we have find the value of M1 by L2, let us find the value of M1 by L2. L1 means unit of length in first system. And our first system is SI system. And in this system, the unit of length is meter. So L in place of L1, we can write meter. Or L2, similarly, we can write centimeter. And it can be written as 100 centimeter by centimeter. So it becomes equal to 10 to the power 2. Now let us solve the last term that is T1 power minus 2 and T2 power minus 2. It can be written as T2 power 2 and T1 power 2. And again it is better to express this under the bracket as the whole square. Now what is T2 here? T2 is unit of time in the second system. And in the second system, the unit of time, that is in CGS system, is second. And in first system, that is in SI system, again the unit of time is second. So, for T2 is a second and for T1 is also second. So, it becomes equal to 1. In this way, we have find the value of uh, all the quantities here. N1 is 1. For M1 by M2, we have of 10 to the power 3 for l1 by l2 it is 10 to the power minus 2 and for t1 power minus 2 and t2 power minus 2 just we have calculated one so it becomes equal to 10 to the power 5 but don't write here 10 to the power 5 dime here because it is n2 is only numerical value so if we have to write the value we can write it that therefore 1 newton 1 Newton or 1 Newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 dime. In this way, 
we learn how to convert the value of a physical quantity from one system to another. We solve some more problems. For example, I am giving one uh, as a assignment. You convert one zone into one. You can solve according to this example. You can get very easily the conversions. Thank you. Good day.